All right, here we are on the Las Vegas Strip in front of Jimmy Buffett's Margaritaville, one of the highest grossing restaurants in the country. But today, we're not talking about food. We're talking about drinks, cocktails, clones from this book, Top Secret Restaurant Recipes 3. We're going to go in there and I'm going to show you how to make the incommunicado cocktail. Yes, today, I'm getting waggy snogger. Top Secret Recipes. Top Secret Recipes. Top Secret Recipes. Todd Wilbur. Todd Wilbur. Please welcome Todd Wilbur. Okay, incommunicado. See that right there? Rum, triple sec, vodka, gin, cranberry juice, pineapple juice, five white liquors. <laughs> All right. All right. Now, I'm going to show you how to make it. Let's go. Okay, Margaritaville, incommunicado cocktail. Here's how you do it. You want, it's a lot of booze. You want the small end, three quarters of an ounce of your uh, jigger. That's a uh, triple sec. Gin. Rum. Whoa. Vodka. And tequila. You can use a white tequila. I'm using gold tequila. Little El Himador. Pop that in. There's your booze. Okay, some uh, grenadine. Sweet and sour mix. Oh, flip it over now for this part, for the sweet and sour mix. Ounce and a half of sweet and sour mix. Uh, same ounce and a half of pineapple juice. And cranberry juice. All right, we're ready to shake. Pop on the top of your shaker. Go nuts on that. Then... Pour it back into your glass. Perfect. Add a garnish, lime and a cherry, and give her a taste. Mmm. Oh, delicious and deadly. Oh. Let's bounce. Chang's Key Lime Pie Martini. It's like Key Lime Pie in a glass with booze. I'm already hammered. It's creamy, tangy, sweet. So, uh, uh, this one is delicious. It's a, it's a dessert drink. It's awesome. You've got to try this drink. You will love it. And, and watch how easy it is. Even when you're hammered, you can make this drink. That's what I'm here to prove to you today. So, get a lime wedge and rub the top of your martini glass with the lime wedge, like so. A plate of graham cracker crumbs. Okay, now we use this. Liquor 43. It's a vanilla liqueur from, uh, I guess, Mexico. Cuarenta y tres. We do uh, an ounce and a half of this. Here's the fun part. Allow me to consult my handy book called Top Singer Restaurant Recipes 3, <clears throat> wherein I have cloned such a drink. And it says to now measure the sugar, key lime juice, and half and half into a cocktail shaker. Oh, that's right. All right, so go... Take a teaspoon into your glass like this, and key lime juice. What's the difference between regular limes and key limes? Um, key limes are smaller. And then you want an ounce of the key lime juice, then three quarters of an ounce of half and half. Oh, baby, this is so great. And then, uh, now here's the cool part. Get some whipped cream, and, and swirl the whipped cream like one, two, three times into, into the shaker. Pop this on the top. Take a breather. Okay. Good two. 
your glass. Oh. <laughs> okay, now you need a garnish. Just take one of those key limes, slice it, just kind of rest it right on top like that. <sighs> and what do you do next? Well, you drink it, of course. Oh man, you've got to try this one. Tastes just like you are drinking a key lime pie. <laughs> Oh. oh, 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 I'm feeling a little barfy. <laughs> oh, man, my eyes itch. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Uh, I need a nap. I need a nap. Okay, I'm going to take a nap. I'm going to walk over here, and you guys make these drinks and have fun, but, you know, drink responsibly. Responsibly. Responsibility. Responsibility.